that last game. And we're on winner's semis. Peach Rolls and Albert, let's do it. Group 209 on PS2. Some people swear by this music, why I'm not sure. It's not, it's not actual music, it's not valid music. You gotta put on me channel, come on. Mm -hmm. Me shop or whatever. Uh huh. Something something megalovania? Huh? I wish I knew anything that Good Ninja did. I was playing against Peach Falls earlier with the Good Ninja and was just... Yeah, yeah. Got, okay, I don't know if I was falling into it or if it was just a little bit strong, but it's a pretty strong move. Mm -hmm. And we're probably playing Peach, which I haven't seen yet today. Yeah, I know, I haven't either. But you, you know, a good Peach player, a Daisy player, mm -hmm. they can, if they're levitating, just barely go over the stage, go on the floor, then they can just do ridiculous combos right out of it. It's, it's so cool to see. Big trade there. And Peach is gone to the star KO. Peach goes with the Kermit the Frog here. I just wish I knew what anything that Peach does. Yeah. Peach and Daisy, they, they're, they're levitating and they, they, they throw out back airs and other moves just so quickly just because they're not even on the floor. Mm -hmm. Like those, those quick heart things, those are all back airs. This is instantaneous. And it's all about levitation management and when to use what. They, they take a really serious skill cap, I think, personally. Yep. I hear Victor Dwyer and King King and Physiox back there talking competitive Pokemon. Mm -hmm. Started coming with the assist on the throws. Did you happen to see that? Um, I think it was a Smash Four mod or something, but it was of a uh, it was of a Peach about to get hit by I think it was Sonic or something. And then you know Peach has the counter move where Toad comes out to, to block the shot, but Toad ends up not blocking it and lets Peach take the hit. <laughs> and then it just like switches over to like Toad doing this like action, like smiling, and it's like Toad breaks free as if Toad just got released from Smash. Mm -hmm. So it, it turned out really, really good. It looked mm -hmm. really good. It looked legit. I actually believe it for a really hot second. And I found it was like a Smash Forward custom thing. So, okay, fine. Like, no way is, is Toad, <laughs> Toad breaks free. Yeah. And I know the top four are best of five, but is this considered the top four? Oh. Uh, I, I guess it is, yeah. Yeah, this would be uh this would be a top five. Yeah, I guess it might be. I think I played against Albu once. I just don't know if there's so much hit stun or not, but it seems like you can get up and hit a ninja after another big trade with Toad coming in, trying not to break free from Peach. Speaking of Toad breaking free from Peach, Super Mario 64, I want to talk about that. Okay, okay. I know there's a lot of, uh, I mean, the game's been out since, what, 1997? I think it was about then, yeah. I mean, it was either, yeah, yeah. I mean, loads of people, if not everybody, has played Super Mario 64, so mm -hmm. by all means, it's great. I played it. Mm -hmm. Even on the DS version. Really, really cool game, yeah, man. Current hey, team. There we go. Good job, Pitch Fuzz, taking that first game. Out of, I believe, the best of five. Uh, there's, obviously, people have made uh, custom games, custom full on adventures for uh, Mario 64 as well. Mm -hmm. There's one I want to play, uh, there's one guy on YouTube that I used to follow, I still follow him. Uh, Big Dip, Big Dip on a Bus, I believe is his YouTube name. He does like a Patreon funded uh, playthroughs or whatever. He's done um, Mario, Mario 64 playthroughs or like modded playthroughs. Mm -hmm. There's one he's doing right now called the Mushroom Cup, which I kind of want to play through on like a salt committee stream or something, just like a chill stream and I just play through like an old, uh, like, a, like, a, like a modded adventure from Mario 64. Uh, 
to see if people like Mario 64. For some reason, it's like, it's like people can't stop watching it. You know, they'll always yeah, watch yeah. Mario 64 play this. They'll always watch Mario 64 being played, and Mario 64 and this, and everything Mario 64 can get. And the custom adventures and all that, too. Like, that thing's effort to make custom levels on like, a game, you know. Oh, yeah. I think it's like a total like, what, like 160 stars or something like that. Like, I've seen some that's like maybe just like a few stars or whatever, like maybe one level. But like, this is like, like a whole on adventure, like 160 some odd stars. Wow. So yeah. kudos to whoever made that and whoever's made several others. <laughs> and they're like increased difficult too. Like, the games aren't easy. I like a lot of the uh, randomized home runs. Yep. Those are pretty fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've been uh, seeing uh, some YouTube videos uh, suggesting to me of uh, Super Mario 64 Randomizer. I'm not sure what randomized about it, though. Um, it would probably just be like the, uh, like it makes actual, like, generates its own levels. Oh, it's that random? Some, yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh. I know that's what a lot of randomizers do. I know Pokemon randomizers, it's usually like the Pokemon that uh, you find in an area, they're randomized, mm -hmm. and, then, and sometimes you can randomly generate the items that pick up, or the, or the trainers, what those they have, whatever. But Super Mario 64, is it really like full on level randomization? I haven't seen it, but that's impossible. what I imagine it would. It's only it's there's... procedurally generated Mario 64. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Impossible. Yeah. <laughs> A lot of them do, do work better on the more two dimensional games. Mm -hmm. It's easier to create an actual cohesive level based yeah. on like whatever uh, algorithm you need yeah. to like create a level. It's a lot easier, a lot less complicated than you like, just in 2D. Mm -hmm. okay. 3D, I'd imagine it'd get pretty messy sometimes. Oh, absolutely. Because you end up looking like Minecraft. Mm -hmm. Just walls upon walls of something and everything all in the place. Especially in Mario 64, I think that'd be, that'd be funny, but like, I don't know if it's happened. Maybe it's like star placement is random, I be, guess. Be. Like, I just don't know exactly what's random about it, but I think that guy, as I mentioned before, picked up on a bus. I think he just recently did a Super Mario 64 randomizer. I haven't watched it, really. but you know, sometimes you just gotta do it. That being said, I'm going to play some Mario 64 on my DS. <laughs> I can try switching between Game Ninja and Game Watch today. Maybe if I play with Game Watch on characters or players he's not confident against, perhaps? Possibly. Who do you play against Peach Bowser? Who did he play against? Yeah, uh, yeah, it was Ninja. Yeah, it was Ninja. Yeah. And he was definitely very confident against Ninja. <laughs> I think a big issue is with the shadows. Mm -hmm. I don't know if the uh, shadows need it out, but you got the. I'm gonna get the touch back here. Just the uh, teleport. Is this not best of five for. It was last month. 